In today's video, I'm gonna show you my four part action plan to make sure that your business doesn't get ransomware. But before we jump into today's content, today's video has been kindly sponsored by Keeper Security. Now Keeper Security is a top rated password manager that helps protect businesses from cyber threats. Keeper Security is used by millions of people worldwide and it's built using zero trust security. So every user on every device is protected. So why don't you head over to keepersecurity.com and whilst you're there, why don't you sign up for a free trial? So thanks again to my friends over at Keeper Security. Now, let's jump into the video. So firstly, how did the cyber criminal escape the police? He ran somewhere. Okay, so ransomware is no laughing matter. Ransomware is a type of malware and if it gets onto your computer, it scrambles up all the information and all of the data. It's encrypted so you can access it. Now lots of different types of ransomware have been designed by cyber criminals to spread like a disease. So if you've got a business with loads of computers and one computer gets ransomware, the chances are it will spread to every computer in your network and then your entire IT will be in the hands of cyber criminals. And if that happens, how do you get your data back? Well, you've got to pay the cyber criminal the ransom and that could be thousands of pounds. And even if you do pay it, there's no guarantee you'll get your data back. So what you need and what your business needs is an action plan so you can wrestle back the control from the cyber criminal. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my four part action plan that I use with my own customers. And this plan will firm up your cyber security defenses. And you'll notice that this plan is done in reverse order to what most other companies do. So the first part of the action plan is plan for an attack. Whatever you do, don't be an ostrich. When is the best time to plan for a ransomware attack? Before you get ransomware. So ask yourself a few questions. What would you do if you came into the office tomorrow and you had ransomware? Your entire computer system was down. Have you got a plan in place? The plan has to include things like your communication strategy. You've got to communicate with your team, your customers and your partners to keep them up to date with what is happening. You might have some legal requirements. You might have to tell some regulators that you've been hacked. And thirdly, you need a technical plan. You've got to have documentation of how your business IT is going to get back up and running as soon as possible. So that's point one, it's having a plan before it happens. Action two is to make sure that you have robust backups. Make sure that all your backups are bulletproof. Why am I talking about backups when we're talking about ransomware? Well, once again, it's all about preparation. The best way that you can recover from a ransomware attack is to restore all your data from your backups. This means that you don't have to deal with these pesky cyber criminals. Now all of the usual backup tips apply. Make sure that your backups are stored in multiple locations. Make sure that you take backups often, like daily, at least daily. Make sure that your backups are encrypted. Make sure that your backup technology is protected with multi-factor authentication. And make sure that you backup everything. I don't just mean servers and data, I mean things like Microsoft 365. I've heard some horror stories where cyber criminals got into a network and tampered with the backups before they put ransomware on the network. So when the customer wanted the backups, they weren't there. That's a little bit like your house burning to the ground and you phone up your insurance policy and they say, I'm sorry sir, but your policy expired last week. Don't be in that position ever. Make sure that your backups are bulletproof. Action point number three is prevent ransomware from getting into your network. So far, you've got a plan. You know what you're doing if you get ransomware. You've also got good backups in place. The next step is to try and implement IT security so ransomware doesn't get in. Now there are so many cyber security strategies that you can implement in your fight against ransomware. But keep this in mind, 
Cybersecurity is like an onion. You need lots of different strategies to build up your defenses. There's no one thing that will help protect you against ransomware. But here's a couple of tips to get you going. Make sure you've got good email security. Lots of ransomware originates from dodgy emails. Make sure that you always keep all of your devices up to date with the latest security updates. Make sure you know exactly what is plugged into your network. Even that toaster that you can control via an app on your phone. It's still a device and it's still a vulnerability if it's not looked after. Make sure that no one has local admin permissions over their computers, because if they do and they get hacked, the hacker will have local admin too. Make sure that you've got good web filtering in place to stop people browsing to dodgy websites, whether they know it or not. And finally, make sure that you always train your team with cyber awareness training. Now all the points I've mentioned above are just good cyber hygiene that every business should be doing. So why are so few of them actually doing it? Now action point four is to prevent ransomware from running on a device or on your network. So you've got a plan in place, you've got good backups and you've got loads of good technology to prevent ransomware getting in. But something slips the net. A dodgy email gets through the filter and someone using the computer isn't cyber awareness trained and they click on the link and before they know it, ransomware is on a computer. What next? Well, it makes sense to have some good security software installed on every device. Make sure that the security software is ransomware aware. Bit of a mouthful. There is even a company out there called Sentinel One who offer a ransomware guarantee. If you're using their software, they guarantee that ransomware won't spread. Their software will nip it in the bud. And if it doesn't, they'll give you loads of money. So there you have it. There is my four part action plan to make sure your business doesn't get ransomware. Now at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that it was in the reverse order. What did I mean by that? Well, most businesses start off at the end. They start off with action point four and action point three. They implement all these fancy technologies, but they don't have a plan in place and they're not really concerned with backups. It's the wrong order. Plan first, implement technologies later. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.